Weather bring in Paul Hagen, and uh, I guess we did get some wind. We got some cooler temperatures, right. but that's the good and the bad, right? Right. The wind is a double edged sword because it brings in the cooler air, but it also fans the flames of all of the fires and that the we smoke have across the area and then spreads that smoke yeah. out, too. I've labeled all of the major fires, and of course, there are a bunch of smaller ones, too. And you can see all the smoke spreading out from those. Separate from the smoke, though, also showing up in the satellite view. A little bit of a marine layer. So there is going to be some fog trying to sneak in across the bay as we head through tonight. Any amount of moisture would definitely help us out. But in terms of the amount of smoke, this is that experimental smoke forecast model that I showed yesterday a couple of times. It's still showing all of that smoke continuing to just billow off of the fires and then spreading hundreds of miles downwind. So we're going to be dealing with poor air quality for the foreseeable future. This one runs out about the next 48 hours. And it does fluctuate a little bit as the fires kind of breathe. They'll flare up when the conditions really dry out. During the overnight hours when temperatures drop off, sometimes they'll reduce in intensity a bit. But it's going to be something we have to contend with for a while. Along with that, spare the air alert that continues at least through Sunday. Unhealthy air quality across the board, just a matter of how unhealthy. Looks like the worst air quality is going to be over the East Bay and the Santa Clara Valley once again as the valleys tend to collect that smoke. But there's going to be plenty of it around the bay as well, which also tends to collect that particular matter. Current winds are onshore and a little bit stronger. Not too much stronger inland than they were yesterday, but quite a bit stronger in the city. 29 mile an hour sustained winds right now at SFO. Now that wind has brought in some cooler air. Looking outside right now, look to the south from the Salesforce Tower. Man, look at all that smoke. Temperature right now 67 degrees downtown, 77 in Oakland. Otherwise, it's mostly 80s. 82 degrees in San Jose, 89 in Santa Rosa, with 88 in Livermore and Concord. All these numbers are substantially cooler than they were 24 hours ago for inland portions of the Bay Area. Even 19 degrees cooler right now in Napa. That helps because as the temperature drops, even with the same amount of moisture in the atmosphere, if the temperature is lower, then the humidity is higher. And these numbers aren't fantastic, but at least they're not in the teens. The lowest numbers we have are in the 20s for relative humidities, quite a bit higher around Napa. And again, it's not precipitation to put out the fires, but any amount of moisture in the atmosphere does help the fire crews. But again, that's the double-edged sword with the wind that's responsible for bringing the moisture in, also helping to fan the flames a bit. Temperatures tonight will drop down to the upper 50s and low 60s. We'll warm up tomorrow, but it's not going to be an overly hot day for this time of year. Temperatures similar to where we topped out today. Upper 60s along the coast, low to mid 80s around the south end of the bay, with upper 80s and low to mid 90s in the Santa Clara Valley. And again, plenty of smoke overhead and around you throughout the day. Low to mid 90s for the Tri Valley, the hot spots on the east side of the Diablo range in the upper 90s, but staying short of 100 degrees. Small mercies wherever we can find them. Temperatures around the bay mostly in the mid to upper 70s, still above normal for this time of year, and still hot, but not exceptionally hot in the North Bay. Mostly upper 80s and low to mid 90s, a little hotter in the vicinity of the worst fires in northern Sonoma and Napa counties, mid to upper 90s there. It's not triple digits, but it's still hotter than the fire crews would like to contend with, with mostly low to mid 90s over Lake and Mendocino counties, too. Temperatures, some subtle ups and downs to our inland high temperatures. The coolest day Sunday, still around 90 degrees, and then back into the low to mid 90s for most of next week. Low to mid 70s around the bay. Smoke tomorrow, and then there is a chance that a little bit of moisture sneaks up towards us Sunday and Monday. That also is a double edged sword.